All right, Tommy Roach here, Nature's Alpine Solutions. I'm the VP of Product Development and Tech Services. So today we're gonna to talk about nutrient solubility, nutrient availability, and if you, you think about this, in order for nutrients to get taken in by the plant, they first have to be soluble and available. So here on the board, here's two examples of solubility. This potassium acetate, which Nature's Alpine Solutions markets as BioK. As you can see, we have 286.6 grams per 100 mils of water. That's the solubility of potassium acetate. Secondly, here is potassium chloride. Its solubility at 34.3 grams of material per 100 mils of water. So here we're going to do a little, a little uh, mixing experiment here. We have 2.5 ounces of water, and in each of these bottles, here's potassium acetate, here's potassium chloride, we have the same volume in these bottles, 25 grams of material. So I'm going to add the water into each one of these, and we're going to see what happens with solubility of the material. We'll do potassium acetate first, then goes the water. I'll turn it around and you can see it start dissolving. And I'll add it to the potassium chloride. This is even white soluble potash, which is supposed to be a little bit more soluble than regular red KCL. All right, in goes the water. I'll do a little shaking. So after less than 30 minutes of shaking, and I could keep shaking this one for a long time and it still wouldn't all be dissolved, but you can see uh, the potassium acetate or bio-K is uh, clearly all solubilized, and this one is not even close to getting soluble in that 2.5 ounces of water. So, here's the next one. In this bottle, this is actually how much potassium acetate can dissolve in this 2.5 ounces of water. Believe it or not, you can see on the bottom of this little bottle here, that is how much material of potassium chloride that will dissolve in this 2.5 ounces of water. So let's do the same thing with this. Again, it all goes back to being soluble for the plant to take it up. Then right goes the water in the potassium chloride. And pour the water in this one so it can start dissolving. All right, I'll give, give them a shake. Potassium chloride first. I'll start shaking them both. Okay, there you can see. That little bit of potassium chloride material that was in that bottle finally dissolved versus you can see the other one that uh, has not dissolved yet and it won't because it's reached maximum solubility. So if I let, if I let this set for about a minute, it will start clearing up from the turbidity of shaking. I'll even turn it to the side so you can see as it clears up that that whole bottle of potassium acetate or bio is now fully dissolved in that 2.5 ounces of water. So the moral to the story, in order for nutrients to get taken in by the plant, 
they first have to be soluble and available. Stick around for the next edition. Who knows what we'll be coming to you with next. Thanks.